guys, it is Alisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And of course, if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I just picked these up from the mailbox downstairs and I can't wait to get into them and see what they're all about. Um, this is a new to me shop. It is called Awesome Pattern Studio. It's an Etsy shop and they are based, now I'm trying to remember, they're based somewhere in Europe. Um, uh, I didn't look at the shipping label to remind me where they're from, but somewhere in Europe, I think Germany. And I, I've come across their site before. I never did order because I wasn't sure on the quality and the shipping and yada yada. But um, I've been feeling kind of overwhelmed with all the big diamond paintings lately uh, that I checked them out. And I found, I think they're both Christmas designs. I um, will pop into it in a second. I think they're both Christmas designs and they're uh, a, a relatively small size, easy to manage. And I'm crossing my fingers that they are great because um, they came by Canada Post once it got to Canada, of course. And uh, I didn't have to pay duties. I did get two at once. Prices, I can't remember. I'll pop it up on screen. Um, and the link to the Etsy shop will be down below as well. But they came in this tube. Both of these tubes were covered in bubble wrap. And then it was in one of those thin poly bag mailers. It arrived, as you can see, no dents. These are like, I think they must be like tin. Um, and then on the top, you can see here, they have like a wood. So it's quite sturdy. Nothing's going to get into this. Um, and then once I pop this off here, here's this first image that I decided to pick up. I thought it was cute. Merry Christmas co uh, with uh, cocoa and cookies and just a, a neat design. And from my understanding, the owner creates all of this artwork uh, herself, uh, which is really neat. So I don't know actually how to get into this without, it says push down to open. Yeah, okay. So I just pushed it down till it popped. And now I can pull it off here and let's see what's inside this first one here. Now, when I was looking at their shop and, you know, the description of everything, I think this is a little bit different than the standard diamond paintings that we're used to as far as this canvas material. And right away, it is feeling very different. So let's take a look. So I've got everything out of the tube there. It's nice, strong cardboard tube. And as you can tell, it's really rolled up. Now, the thing I need to figure out is, is it? It doesn't say if it's poured glue or double-sided adhesive, but it does have this um, um, cover, like this white um, sheet on top. Typically, that means it's double-sided adhesive. And double-sided adhesive, you actually cannot roll backwards, otherwise you will ruin the glue. Um, so what I might have to do just to be safe is put some heavy books, or maybe I'll get my husband to lift up the mattress, and then we can um, um, stretch this out. Now, I don't even think it's a canvas. It, it feels like, like, can you see the shine there? It's actually like paper. They have the color chart down here. Is that all of it or some of it? I feel like it said it had more colors than that. Here's the color list on the back here. So there's actually 20 colors in this kit. They tell you also the DMC number, the uh, actual color, how many uh, diamonds are in this kit and the weight of the diamonds. So they give you lots of information here. This measures um, at about 19 by 26 centimeters. Complexity hard. <laughs> but here's that image. I just thought it looked so cute. So this is something that you could easily frame um, as well when you're done. And I like how it says here, the pattern is licensed for personal, personal use only. So that's awesome. As I said, I'm pretty sure that the pattern is designed. Here we go. Designed in the Ukraine. So that's where the shop is based in the Ukraine. Um, that the owner uh, makes these images herself. Now I'm a little 
nervous about pulling this off because I know... Yeah, I think that's double-sided adhesive. I'm not great at telling. If you pros out there, I've actually never done a double-sided adhesive canvas. So if you're a pro and that's double-sided adhesive, let me know. Super, super sticky. There is a bit of overflow of the glue. And again, I don't want to take all of this off because I think that can cause a problem in it as well. Um, which is unfortunate because I did want to show you what it looks like. But I also do not want to ruin the... Um, the canvas. Let me just pull this down a little bit here, just so we can see kind of the, the printing. So look how clearly printed that is. I, I can see everything nice and clearly. Now again, we, um, this is a, I should say square drill uh, canvas. And um, let me just put this let me just straighten this image out here uh, so we can do that. Um, it is a square drill canvas. It also came with this instruction sheet here, step-by-step -step instructions. So far, I love how everything is laid out and branded. Um, really good instructions, especially from another country. Um, tells you what to expect, uh, how to work on this kit. Yeah, basic, everything else works basically. And then it says down here, when you're finished, place weight on the painting to ensure the diamonds stick well. After 24 hours, cut out the design and get it framed to hang on your wall. They also have tons of images to choose from. I elected to get Christmas images, but they have other designs that, that if I enjoy working on this, I will definitely be ordering more because this is a perfect, like, small size when you know i i just don't have the energy to tackle a big diamond painting but i want a nice you can tell that this is hand charted it's been you know charted very um um like i don't see any unnecessary confetti is what i'm trying to say it's char it looks like it's charted really well this bag is actually sealed so let's, let me try and open it Looks like they've sent two just basic boat trays. I usually don't use these. I find them too small. They are the Mosfa boat. And then we've got a diamond painting pen. We actually get two pens, which is kind of nice if you want to do this with, you know, uh, your child or, or your husband. I would never be able to get my husband to diamond paint with me. And then we have a bag of baggies. We've got some red wax. And then these look like stickers. Let's see. I think these are the stickers. Now, if I can remember. So yeah, they did have the color list here. And then this looks like three, eight, six, five. Do they have all of the numbers here? No, they don't have, oh, here's some more, maybe that. Yeah, they do. So these are for all of the numbers. It actually, very interesting. It says start here and then it starts, um, it's not actually in order, not in order on this list, but anyways, you can tell that they have like this 340 and 433, 435, that's the DMC numbers. They tell you how many grams you have in here as well. And then they've got one out of 20 bags. And that's the uh, model number. And then they have the size up at the top as well. They actually have the stickers on these bags too. So I don't know why you would need more stickers. Exactly the same sticker. So it is nice, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess if you don't like kidding up into baggies, I mean, you can't reuse that sticker. So um, I guess that's why they do send you this. But I don't mind kidding up into baggies, actually. That's all I do these days. Uh, so these uh, are great. They already come pre-bagged. These are nice, strong, sturdy bags. They're not the flimsy kind. Let me open. And let me attempt to pour some diamonds in here. And let's just see what they look like in the tray. I feel rusty, you guys. I didn't bring a, a proper tray. I, I I don't like these trays because I just make a mess with them. Let me get a proper tray. So I grabbed my Yellow Dog Designs tray. They are a Canadian uh, small shop. Look at the cool pattern that they have on that. Isn't that neat? 
Um, they've quickly become my favorite trays to use. This is a special one where um, she uh, took that washi tape hack. You see people putting washi tape at the end of their tray and she actually made a tray for it. So you don't have to fuss around with washi tape and have your diamonds sticking to the tape and such. Actually works really well. Um, if I remember, I will link them down below, but you just have to search on Etsy Yellow Dog Designs and they will come up. Let me just shake them. This is actually a good video to show the tray as well. So as you can see, just like that washi tape hack, all the, the diamonds that didn't get um, straightened out there are at the end there, and they're all lined up really nicely. They are lining up next to each other so perfectly. There are no gaps. There are no tabs. There are no trash. They are super sparkly. I'm by a window. I think you can see some of that sparkle. I'm just pulling it up to my eyes now. Yeah, they look really good quality, you guys. And the color is very vibrant. Uh, in this in this bag as well. Let me just pour these guys back in. And look how easily they easily. I've got one straggler that tray empties as well. I love those trays. So this kit has we've got this color. We've got a blue. Let's just take a look at all the colors. So we've got. Some browns that are in the coffee cup, I imagine. Got beautiful reds. Look at this green, it's like a neon. Look how bright and beautiful that is. And the pink here too, look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Now, are these resin? Um, I can't remember. I will try and look at the Etsy listing. Um, to me, I didn't care, I just wanna try them. They do have the little pinpricks in the back. I know I always say I forget what that, that means, but uh, for those that know, I should really remember that. Um, let me know in the comments what the pinpricks mean. Does that mean it's acrylic or resin? Because I never remember. So here's this image again. I wish I could show you the whole canvas, but it is covered in this. and. I know I've seen another YouTuber unbox double-sided adhesive before and she had warned against taking this entire plastic off. Um, that being said, there is a bit of a, a crease here just from when it was um, rolled up. But I'm gonna roll it up, I think, again because I'm, I'm an idiot and I forgot these were coming and I just kid up <laughs> big diamond art club painting. Uh, I would have actually rather done this just because it's small, but... Um, you never know, I might wake up tomorrow morning and feel like kidding this one up too. It's actually already kit up for me. I really just have to start. And um, it actually would be nice to get some diamonds down. So I will see. I will see what I am going to do. Now let me just move this to the side and let's look at the second image that I got. I always buy two things when I'm ordering from uh, shops that are not Canadian. It's just seems to make shipping more reasonable in my brain. So again gonna pop this wood piece off the top oh yeah this one's really cute look at that image some elves around a Christmas tree I'm very impressed you guys I'm just thinking now after I film this I'll actually be sitting down while I was planning to sit down and work on um Diamond Art Club's uh, Gnome for the Holidays. It's that very, very bright and colorful gnome painting from Marjorie Sarnat that uh, Diamond Art Club released this year on their 25 Christmas releases, or 26, I think it ended up being. Um, I kitted it up because I want something bright and colorful, but um, I was gonna sit down with that one. But uh, let's see. I wonder if I would, I would rather do this just because of the size. As uh, you know, you some of you know that I'm also still recovering from COVID and <laughs> I'm just really tired and really overwhelmed. I naturally suffer from extreme fatigue and brain fog and uh, this has made it that much harder. So again, you can see it is quite hard to, to flatten out here, but the other one actually, as we were talking there, it started flattening out pretty nicely. So I don't think I would need to put this under a heavy thing for very long before um, I could um, leave it just flat, you know. Let me just pull some of this so we can see the drill field. 
can see some colors there. So here we go. Drill field is nice and clear again. This isn't really a canvas. It's more of like a very hard uh, paper printed very clearly. This is like a perfect size, you guys. I'm really, I am really debating on kidding one of these guys up. Maybe the cocoa one, just because it um, makes me feel warm and cozy. But I'm also, I think, took off too much of this. Good enough. Again, it has a legend on the bottom here. I like that it's there and it's not on the side. <coughs> um, here's that image. So, isn't that cute? Again, I can tell that it's 100% hand charted. There's lots of color blocking in here. I think this kit would also work up very quickly. I love it. Um, again, the same stuff on the front there. On the back of this one, it tells us it's the same. It's about a 19 by 26 centimeter, 22 colors, just under 20,000 diamonds in this one. You have your color list here. And I expect, the diamonds to also, now I can't remember if they offer rounds or if they just do squares. Um, I will have to go back and take a look, and maybe I'll pop something on the screen. Uh, this one is a square as well. I actually tend to prefer square diamond paintings. Uh, I just find them more enjoyable. Um, so um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Again, we get wax, we get more stickers there. So if you do want to kit up into containers instead. Vibrant, vibrant colors. Look at those. They're just so beautiful. They've got the pinks, lots of greens and purples, lots of blue in the background of this one. Um, these blues here are very vibrant as well. And again, labeled nicely with the DMC number there. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's some 310. Let's pour the 310 out because if, if um, diamonds are bad quality, they always say look at the 310. You'll be able to tell. For some reason, 310s, I, they say just because they're mass produced that that's where you will see trash if there's going to be trash. And no, it looks really good. So they're all sitting together flush. There's no tabs, no trash that I can see. Um, again, I can't remember if they're resin or acrylic. But yeah, I am super happy, you guys. Um, I will link this shop down below. Again, they have like tons of designs and i'm actually really i think i'm gonna kit the coffee one up the hot cocoa one the first one i showed you um because i really want to see how this uh works how the diamonds fit on the canvas you really don't know the quality of something until you actually get these diamonds down because then you need to kind of test the spacing is there huge gaps or are they do they fit together super nicely if they fit together super nicely i think this is gonna um be a very promising shop to order small things from that look good, right? Because they are intentionally charted to be this size. So uh, I am actually excited to try this one. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hi guys, I thought that I would film a short uh, follow-up clip and insert it into this video, the unboxing video of these kits. I did end up uh, kitting one up uh, right after filming that unboxing. Now, I don't, do I have the paper? Where's the paper? Hold on. Never prepared. Here is the image that I, that this painting is. Uh, I think it's really cute. Merry Christmas with a, I think it looks like a hot cocoa. I think they called it a, co yeah, Christmas coffee uh, with some cookies and then some uh, nice design down there. Um, I, I did kit it up right away and I did start working on it and I, I'm not sure how much time I am honestly going to give to this project. So I thought, you know what, let me just share the little bit that I've done so far. Um, if I do more, great. If not, then I don't have to feel, you know, pressure. Um, because if you know me, you know that I usually do not give my time to something I'm not 110% enjoying. And... Um, Nothing wrong with this kit. It's just what I like to diamond paint and what I like to spend my time on is, is uh, mostly from another shop. And um, because my diamond painting time is limited, 
based on how my arms are working for the day. If they don't work, I can't diamond paint, right? So I'm very particular about what I work on and what I put time into because I, I diamond paint for fun to fill time. And um, it is very therapeutic. I find when I don't diamond paint, I um, am a lot more anxious and worried and fearful and, you know, worrying about the future. But when I diamond paint, I just feel relaxed. Uh, so what I, I tend to do is focus on my, you know, big projects. And then, you know, if I get bored during the day, you know, there's so many hours in a day working on the same diamond painting. Sometimes I get tired of it. You know, I want to switch up the colors or maybe I'll do a square in the morning and a round in the afternoon. However, I want to do it. So anyways, kitting this up was actually really easy. All I did was throw the bags in a container. They came with the DMC numbers on them already. I kind of had them in a loose order, but the um, what the legend I was going off of was just this one, uh, the symbol, and then just finding the DMC. There's only 20 colors in this kit, so it, it's not that much of a nuisance to go through this. I also don't have a small enough container that they all stand up nicely. But um, again, I want to point out the beautiful colors in these this kit. Like, look at the vibrancy of these diamonds. Um, so I've done a little bit of this one. And you can kind of see the sparkle here with the kitchen lights. Um, the other thing to note, and I do have, I see popping drills here. That's interesting because I, um, this side is okay. The Mary, the red is okay. But over here, uh, this canvas is double-sided adhesive. Um, the other thing that's been bothering me is the glue. It has a very faint smell, but it's enough that it almost gives me a headache, which is also why I'm not certain if I'm going to finish it. But um, if you've never worked with double-sided adhesive before, it's actually tricky. Uh, you know, with port glue canvases, you put your diamond down, you need to straighten it out, or you put it on the wrong spot, you want to drag it over, you can do that, no problem. Double-sided adhesive, you can't do that. If you misplace a diamond, you've got to pop it off and replace it. You can't really slide these guys around, and I think it can damage the glue if you try to do that. So um, placement on a double-sided adhesive canvas, I think, has to be a little bit more precise and um, I can see on this side where there's the brown here that there is some gapping, not enough to a little bit in here is a little bit much kind of there. But uh, generally speaking, it's not too bad. You can really tell in the red there, like the drills are fitting really nicely together. Right? There's no popping in that. Over here, I can tell there's a bit of popping. And I know when I started this blue background, I was a little bit already, sorry, I'm kind of off the side there. I was already a little bit tired and uh, getting a little bit frustrated working with double-sided adhesive. And that's when I put it away. And now I can see these popping drills. So I probably did not place as precisely as I did the rest of it. You know, I don't know about you, but I find when I'm starting to get tired or irritated, with something I'm working on, I'm kind of um, less precise. I kind of just place haphazardly, and with this, you can't really do that. So there are popping drills all throughout this blue part. The brown part is fine, but this blue part definitely is. Now, the type of canvas this is, this is not canvas material. This is like a paper, and when you flip it over, you can look at the shine on that. It's almost like a I don't know what I think of. It looks laminated on the back. Actually, I think it is laminated on the back. Um, so it's not a canvas. It doesn't, granted, I've had it trying to lie flat for a little while. It still kind of rolls up a little bit. Um, but with this type of material, putting a light pad under it doesn't really work. It doesn't really um, go through the, the paper, right? Uh, so I found when trying to use a light pad, to see it a little bit better, it, it, it didn't really help me. Uh, I use a light pad all the time. I find them really helpful. I don't have to squint as much. I don't get as many headaches. So um, the fact that it was hard to see the light through here kind of was a little bit of a turnoff for me as well. Um, quality wise, the diamonds so far that I've placed, like as I said in the red part there, you can really see how nicely they're fitting together, even in this yellow part down here. Um, no tabs. Uh, I, I haven't experienced in the colors I've worked on. Yeah, maybe there was some of the darker color, the blue, 
was a little more trashy, a little more tabs on that one. I would skip a few, but like this red, I remember, perfect. They were lining together super nicely and uh, the yellow as well. Am I going to put more time into this kit? I don't know. Now, I think if you don't mind double-sided adhesive, um, you want to do smaller kits, uh, something from the shop. I, I still would recommend trying them out. Um, the images are awesome and they do create these images themselves. So they do intentionally chart things. You can tell there's a hand charting has gone into this. So that I really, really like. I mean, I would like to, to finish this. It might be something that I like work on just a small bit enough until I'm frustrated and then I put it away for the day. Um, but it's a little bit more difficult because with double-sided adhesive, you can't roll it the other way. You have to be very careful. Um, there's rules that I don't even know about double-sided adhesive. So it's kind of just been sitting on my table in a, in my way, <laughs> really. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it for a little while longer. I really did want to see what it looked like. Um, I know I have a horrible tendency not to finish things that I show you guys on the channel, because like I said, if I'm not 110% enjoying it, then I tend not to waste my time. I, that's just me. That's just my personality and what I want to put my energy into because I only have so much um, kind of manpower. My arm only works for so long every day. And if I want to, you know, have a rewarding diamond painting experience, I uh, will gravitate to a different kit. But I did want to show you this. Um, if you are interested in these guys, I mean, the images they have, they have so many. They're hand charted. Um, for, for the type of diamonds they are. They do look great quality. I mean, um, especially some of the colors I worked with, they just were fitting side by side so, so nicely. Uh, Double-sided adhesive is 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 a, a learning curve, especially, you know, you can't slip and slide diamonds around. So in that regard, it's harder for me to pop things off because of my nerve damage. So that's another thing that I found my arm got a lot more sore after working just on this. Um, than it typically does when I work on other kits from other companies. So mm, that also kind of factors into to my experience with a kit. But um, I'm going to upload this and get that video out sometime during the month of December because these are Christmas kits. I may elect to give the other one away because I know I'm not going to get to both of them this year. Um, the other one was a cute, um, the elf one, right? You would have seen it earlier in this video. Um, I may like to give that away probably through the Facebook group. So um, if you are participating in the ev winter event, just keep your eyes posted. I, I may throw that up as I give away in between some of the weeks. So uh, anyways, I will let you go for good now. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments if you if you have, if you've worked on these kits before, if you finished them. Um, I would love to see a picture of finished ones. If, if you do have that, if you have an Instagram or send me it on uh, Messenger. Uh, I love to see the finishes as well. And yeah, let me know what you're up to. And until the next video, happy diamond painting, everybody. Bye.